Hi everyone. Um, I'm going to do a lettering video. I just have a simple black card here. And I do have this Fine Tech Pearl Colors. And they are super pigmented, especially in black. Black paper. And um, so this is a Fine Tech set that is a smaller one here. And this is the other one that I'm going to be using. So I have some brushes here. And I'm going to use this smaller one. This is a four number round creative mark brush. And so what I'm going to do is just wet the colors that I want to use. And so one is favorite, this blue. Let's see what it's called. Blue Pearl. And you need to wet these to really get them going. But once they're wet, they're good. And then I'm going to use this one here, which is Purple Miori and the pink one over here. So let me just get this all washed off. And the pink one is right here. So they're super, super pigmented. The pearl is fantastic in them. I love them. And I got these off of, I think it's John's Booksellers. I am not, don't quote me on that, but I think that's where I got these. Because it seemed like nobody had them for a while. So that's what we're going to use today. We're going to have to mix it up. So I got this one going and put a little bit more water on it. And I wrote my quote out in these Generals chalk pastels. And this one's a gray, so I could see it. So I'm just going to go in here and start lettering. So. The downstroke is going to be really heavy. And I'm going to switch up colors. And get that bead off of there. I'm going to keep switching colors, but you kind of got to do it fast. Can take that bead of water off of there, and that one can mix with that. Try to leave that end a little wet. So I'm just changing between the three different colors. Okay, I'm going to try to wet that end. And you're just using different pressures to come up with your light strokes and your heavy down strokes. So that's the first one. And I'm going to go back to our blue, wet it a little bit. <clears throat> Back into that pigment a little bit, darken it up. Each time I'm kind of bringing a little bit water to the palette, if you can see that. Go in here. 
So they dry out quite fast, you know. That's, that's a nice thing of them. So they don't stay super wet when you go to put them away. And get all this off and go back to our other color. And you got a dot of water in there. That's okay. Back to our last one and turn the top off. And so that would be this one. And I'm letting a lot of the pigment be on my brush. Downstroke, come up to that. And this one, kind of mix that last end of the tail. Leave it a little wetter. Go back to our blue. Swoop around. Sorry, silent while I'm lettering. <laughs> Get a little bit more of that. Let me go down and fix the little mistakes that you think that should look better. And our last letter is going to be in our blue color that I love so much. I'm gonna mix the tail there, come up to my hard down stroke, come around, and you can pick your hand up while doing this, and do a little swoopy there. And I'll fix that swoopy up a little bit with more pigment. And fix it right there. So I don't know if you can see the vibrancy in this, so I'm going to kind of lift it up and turn it. You can see the super vibrancy, I hope, in the video. See how it shines in different lights? And on dark card stock, they just come out so beautiful. So that's the end, and I'll, when I'm done, I'll go ahead and erase the lines that I made to make them straight. But that's how I do my lettering with the Fine Sec watercolors, and I really love them. You should try them. They work good on um, mostly dark card stocks, but you can do them just about on anything, any picture you have going on, like accents. I do a lot with jewelry and stuff like that. So. 
I hope everybody is happy, happy and crafty day and thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Please give a like and thumbs up and let me know what would you like to see me letter or what kind of tools you would like to see me use. I am going to do a review on um, some different like products like the Genzai Tombe against the Fine Tech. I know there's some out there, but some of you may have not seen that. So, again, um, have a happy and crafty day. And thank you all again for supporting my channel. Have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye for now.